so welcome I'm going to try to video some videos demonstrating the turnstile principle the principle of the rotary lever that concentrates energy near the center of rotation. <clears throat> many, have, m many animals would rather walk than stand still a lot of the time. Horses and such, you know, they generate a hundred watts or so just walking. You know, probably they could easily generate more, but so you've got one horse or you've got 50 horses, you've got one turnstile or you've got 17 turnstiles, you've got a turnstile radius that's 10 feet or, or perhaps 50 feet. All of these variables give you different results but it's all good because the rotary lever is, is, is acting in this, in this turnstile mechanism. It's the same thing that happens in, the, in a wind turbine rotor. If you imagine horses tied at the end, you know, they, it turns and power is taken off near the center of rotation. That's where the energy density is greatest, where the torque energy is scalar. You know, you can follow the transform from there on your own. I've done the research. But, you know, it's just, it, it's mechanical advantage, either positive or negative. But it's that first energy conversion stage where you want to use the least amount of energy and get the maximum amount of return. That means a long lever. That means the largest practical radius on your turnstile mechanism. Like I said, 50 feet or, or, or 150 feet. You could have these things on the ground at, at any scale. You can put them in a building or out in the sun, you know. And so horses and large beasts of burden, draft animals, are an obvious candidate. Dang it. So let me just see if I can just run the... And run the video for a few moments. <clears throat> These are existing <laughs> antique technologies that simply need to be updated and applied to the generation of electrical power, which is the universal currency of power. You make electricity and you can do whatever you want with it. If you can't make a lot of electricity at one time, what do you do, folks? You store it. That's where some kind of battery bank plays a part of keeping the system running smooth, supplying greater amounts of energy when the load is greater. People in solar power and microhydro know exactly what I'm talking about. At least they should. This is charge controller jargon, you might say. But so, these old antique designs were not, opt were, they were dedicated. They were optimized for doing one thing poorly. Well, in some cases. The turnstile, the turnstile is a flawless design. You can have as many legs on it as you want, as many animals as you want. You can make it as, the radius as large as you want. Adding more animals and more radius gives you more joules down at the center there. Joules or newton meters or mechanical watts, whatever your, whatever your favorite term is. Simple math, and the math supports that I've done the math if you review some of my research. Uh, so, yeah, you know, in most cases... 
the animals are not straining and they're happy, relatively speaking. So, moving on to, if I can, this one. Again, it's an old design, not sophisticated, optimized to do one thing poorly, make a saw go back and forth. That's fine, but we don't do it that way anymore. We make electrical power. So once you have those wheels and gears turning, rotary fashion, you're halfway to the market. You're halfway there. You've got rotary motion. You've got torque energy that is scalar in nature. And, all, and so, for instance here, the horse is on a real mild incline. It's just its own weight making the thing go. It's straining, not at all. So, you know, there's, there's wiggle room here. There's room for improvement. Then, now, a good-sized dog, there's a place for good-sized dogs in this, uh, in this milieu. And this is, again, an antique approach to having a prime mover, in this case a dog, making mechanical energy and using that mechanical motion directly. But the dog is happy. I mean, you hope you pick a dog that is happy. And... Uh, It, 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 this could be making electrical power, this little thing right there, with a happy dog as the outcome. Now, before I start this, there's a, one or two facts a person could, could notice. There's this idler wheel up, near, up at 12 o'clock. It's, um, it's keeping this, the, the large wheel from, from re sorry, from free wheeling. There's a small amount of load on the wheel, and, and that keeps the dog, dog from falling on its face, really. But, so, you could increase the load that that represents to something else and take the power off at the center of rotation, which is, that, that thing is acting as a brake, and it's in the best place for braking than the worst place for making power. Power would be taken off down near the axle, near the center of rotation with an appropriate gear set. Output, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so check this husky, check this unhappy husky out. It, uh, <laughs> love it. So, you know, again, um, this dog could be in a larger, in a wheel thing with a larger radius. And the outcome is more force at the center of rotation, more scalar torque energy. So, finally, Here's um, a very primitive sort of a, a, a scruffy and dirty uh, system that predates my, my babbling about using animal power to make some electricity. Now, they don't, it doesn't look like they've done much optimization or that they really, really know what they're doing or that they have brand new components from the store. What they do have is an ox-powered turnstile. Mechanical force is being taken off at the center of rotation by some means going under the ground. That mechanical energy is then um, utilized through gears and pulleys and whatnot. There's a thing spinning in the background. That's part of the 
as part of their mechanism, I think it's a flywheel, which serves no real purpose, but, you know, we won't hold that against them. It does give you an indication of what kind of rotation rate is happening at that shaft. And without knowing the real the fine, fine details of the design, you just have to see it as the concept of the turnstile with the chosen animal with, at a chosen radius. And you do the math. Folks can do the math from there. Well, I don't know. That might be. The transforms are easy, but I don't understand Newton meters all that well. So, that's the... See, now, in the old days, old days of watermill-powered factories, this was the kind of system that they had. They used a prime mover, which was the water wheel, Mechanical energy was brought in from the stream going by, and it was routed all over the building through these mechanical types of means, belts and pulleys, large industrial ones. But we don't do it that way anymore. We just make electrical power right there from the water, and then we can do, we can, you know, we can build skyscrapers with it. There, there, I'm not saying there isn't a place for this sort of approach. In some ways, it's a simple, uh, low-tech system that works to operate something like a compressor. Uh, who knows what can be done with compressed air? I mean, most, most tools will do more than one job if you, if you give them a chance. So, there you have it. Um, please... Uh, Folks need to think out, think, they need to stretch their thinking box. They need to think about, hmm. well, there's, let me, allow me to finish with some propaganda. What, what, something that could be beneficial for the world is for people to move their mindset away from the consumer mindset and think more in terms of once your, once your basic needs are satisfied, light and heat and food and whatnot, what can you do to make the world a better place? What can you do? Even thinking about it is a step in the right direction, folks. Don't shy away from thinking about what you could possibly do. It might be as little as putting some money in the Salvation Army thing this Christmas. You can start small and easy, or you can go big. There's not a lot of innovation going on these days. Things are just being done and rehashed and repackaged over and over again, including ideas like this, which, no, 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 we won't go there. This is just an old idea revisited, and it's the perfect, the perfect solution for the modern age, where folks are off the grid, off the grid, and, 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 and getting on the grid is not, not practical. So, I mentioned in, uh, well, a lot I will say that um, they got distracted. Oh, well, humans, humans could be replaced, animals could be replaced with humans in a real rational kind of a way here. You make the, just use the longest, you, you use a longer lever, <clears throat> a human is going to be able to walk and push it or pull it without straining, and there's still going to be energy at the center of rotation. Continuous, as long as you have people doing this, you've got continuous energy. Not a ton of it, but energy is easily stored for use later. It's called batteries. Thanks.